Good morning, everyone. How's it going? It's Monday. Uh, welcome to Monday. Uh, we are raring to go on today's Art Talk. I got notes and all kinds of stuff. I hope you guys have your, your coffee ready. Uh, if you're watching this live, good on you. Uh, and we can interact. Um, if you have not been to this live and maybe you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can go to my Facebook page where we uh, do this live. Good morning, Jerry. Uh, welcome to Art Talk This Morning, episode 14. Cindy, good morning. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can go 8 o'clock every morning Pacific Standard Time and watch uh, Art Talk with us. Join us. Have coffee. Mm. Good morning, James. James, uh, Ivan, yes, we got people rolling in. Very good for today. Uh, you guys... Uh, you should be proud of yourselves. Uh, you are taking steps to make at least this day better, and uh, and that can happen. Uh, good morning, Chris. Secret Car Club, uh, the man. We're going to see you guys soon, I guess, next weekend. Uh, he was even making a note on that. Uh, okay, what do we got here? All right, uh, I, I don't generally want to get into the subject right off the bat because we want people to roll in. So the more people we have, uh, the better off it is when we get to the actual subject for the day. So good morning, Donna. Welcome to Art Talk Today. Uh, Art Talk at 8. I'm Fireball, your host. This is episode 14, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, it doesn't matter. Up on YouTube, it'll always get corrected. Um so uh, Art Talk, you know, what's the point of Art Talk? Uh, you guys have been here before, so you kind of know, but I generally have a mission statement for our business, which is Fireball Publishing, where we create our custom coloring books. And that is for us to do what we love and to show uh, people how they can do the same. Uh, how can you incorporate more of what you love into your life? Uh, Rick says, good morning, Fireball. Um, hope you're having a great morning. I am having a superb morning. I'm hanging out with you guys. Thanks for asking. Uh, today's art talk uh, gonna gonna begin shortly. I hope you guys had a chance to see today's vlog. Uh, it was uh, focusing on fires and floods in Malibu. Go, go to the YouTube channel, check out uh, episode nine oh seven that went up this morning, and uh, it was good to see some of you at the Classic Auto Show on Saturday. That was pretty cool, pretty good show. Uh, what do we else we got here? Let's see, Dennis Burnham. Good morning. And of course, it was great to see a lot of you guys at Wheels and Waves yesterday. It was a pretty epic show. We had, uh, you know, uh, the, the the parking lot isn't enormous. Uh, it does get filled from time to time, but because, you know, there's a lot of other shows that happen, uh, we may not get a ton of people, but we certainly got a lot of great cars. And it doesn't hurt to have Keanu Reeves show up with his Arch motorcycles. Uh, uh, if you guys saw the guy that he was with, he's the uh, the CEO of Arch, and they, they make a great product, a fantastic bike. Um, we posted some photos, and uh, big thanks to David for sending me a photo of uh, Keanu and I. It was really cool. Uh, what else we got? Okay. Classic Auto Show, we talked about that. Uh, big thanks to Strictly Business Motorsports, who sponsored the show yesterday. That was pretty cool. We have the new Corvette that we're driving, the Z06, 650 horse, 650 foot-pounds. That's going to be in the vlog this week. And uh, the Secret Car Club, uh, Chris, you guys are going to be joining us at the Murphy Museum and the Mullen on Saturday. That's pretty cool. So if you guys uh, are up in the north area, uh, Jerry, anybody else is in uh, Ventura, Camarillo, Santa, uh, Santa Paula. Uh, James says, have a great time interviewing people at Toronto Motorama. Yeah, but that was cool. That's a good show. I've been to that. That's a fantastic show, actually, on a lot of levels. Uh, so if you're if you're up in that area and you want to come down and meet some of the guys from the Secret Car Club and and kind of see what they're all about, they're going to be at the Mullen and then they're going to be at the Murphy in the afternoon. Uh, lots of big changes at the Murphy. Uh, some neat stuff, as you guys know. The uh, Fireball Gallery, a lot of different things. Stan Curtis, thanks for watching. Uh, Stan, I think you're new. Maybe uh, you haven't been here before. Not sure. Let me know where it is that you guys are from. We are live. So being live, you guys can ask me questions. Nigel, good morning. You can ask me questions and you can also interact with each other. Uh, Scott, 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 good morning. It's going by pretty fast. Lots of people in today. Okay, so we're going to get started on uh, on today's subject. And um, this is really important. Uh, I always like starting Monday off with a bang because longevity is important. And, uh, and this subject is a very close to my heart. It's something that I think you guys can definitely benefit from. But also you'll start to recognize that... Um, uh, Joe Magliato says, can you see me brushing my teeth? I can. Just turn around. Look behind you. 
buddy. That's where I am. <laughs> uh, the, the focus for today is how to get in and stay in flow. Interesting. Okay. Think about that for a second. How to get in, how to get into and stay in flow. And, and it's important for us to identify exactly what flow is first before we how we know how to get in there. Uh, James, that's the name of my car company, Doyle Longevity. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. So flow is a state of consciousness. Flow is a state in which you perform and you, you uh, work at your very best. And it is uh, present in everyone. It's present everywhere. Uh, there's lots of words for it, but there's a scientific term which is uh, called flow. And flow is that state, and you guys have been there, whether you're working out or whether you're, you're working in business or you're doing some type of art. As a creative person, uh, our goal is to get in flow. And when we get in flow, we lose sense of time. And you'll see that it happens on a couple of levels. Uh, time, like when you're in a car accident or something like that, uh, time will slow down and you'll, you'll, you can almost like you can look around and kind of see what's happening. Some of you may have experienced that. That's where, where flow time slows down or it can speed up to where you're, you're maybe working on a, a piece of art or some kind of creative process and five hours can, can feel like five minutes. So that state is a state that's very important because when we're in flow, we are performing at our best. We're no longer uh, worrying about the future or having anxiety about the past. We are in a, a state where time almost doesn't exist anymore and uh, we can perform uh, at a much higher level than we normally do if we're being distracted. And that's one of the biggest um, killers of of uh, success is distraction, is your ability to not maintain that flow. So focused attention over time, that's really what this is about. I'm gonna move you guys a little closer here, okay? Hey, Bob, what's going on? Uh, Bob, thanks for joining us on today's Art Talk, episode 13 uh, at 8 a.m. Uh, if you if you don't see all of these things, I mean, if you don't haven't seen some of the past art talks, you can go on to our YouTube channel. There's a playlist where you can watch some of the past art talks. They're all beneficial. Uh, they're all evergreen, so it doesn't really matter when you see them. They benefit you at, uh, at any time. And we're doing this because it's my job to, uh, to do what I love and to show you guys how you can do the same, how you incorporate more of what you love into your life. And today's subject is helping by getting us into a state of flow and keeping us in, in a state of flow. So flow is about focused attention. It's about uh, increased performance, about being in the zone, right? You know what that's like, being in the zone. And you may not be in the zone necessarily when you're... Um, uh, well, you can be in, in any in any aspect. You know, Jerry Crocker. You know that if you're into uh, metal detection and you're you're going through and you're looking, you're on the beach and you're looking for stuff, you can be very focused. And and when you're focused, you can be attracted to certain things. You can find certain things. That's how treasure is discovered. People get so intense about finding stuff is that they manage to focus their attention so so wholeheartedly that nothing can distract them. And that's very important. Uh, Doug, good morning. Uh, Powell, good morning. We are talking about flow states today and how you can increase your flow state for the week, how you maintain that. Now, uh, part of that, let me have a cup of coffee here. I'll take a swig. So, you guys understand this. And this is not hard to understand. Most of these concepts that we're that are here on our, our talk are not difficult concepts. They're they're very they're almost something that you can teach a child. You can talk to a child and say, you gotta get into that flow state. Now the, the challenge is maintaining. The challenge is getting into that flow state and, and, and being in flow, being in the zone and maintaining that for a period of time uh, until your energy either pops out or until you, you, uh, your brain capacity can't take anymore. And then you got to shift gears. But, you know, we deal with a lot of distractions in this world. And those distractions can be uh, in the forms of uh, siblings or, or husbands or wives or situations that come up or the phone rings, things like that. So if you want to get into a peak flow state, the best thing to do is to turn off your phone, put yourself in a place where you're not going to be distracted. Meditation is a, a, is a flow state also where you can concentrate, you can focus, and you can direct that focus in, in, in one direction. Uh, creative flow, as we mentioned, there's a sense of time loss and uh, where time doesn't really exist or, or shifts or, or just acts weird. It's just, it's just kind of a weird thing. You can't, can't explain it. You kind of disappear. You kind of wink out for a period of time, and then you, you come back in, and, uh, uh, and you've achieved so much more. It's where time has moved uh, uh, kind of out of the way, and you've spent four or five hours doing something, and you go like, oh, my God, where did the time go, right? You guys have had this kind of experience before. Uh, James Goddard, thanks for watching. Uh, we are talking about flow states here on Art Talk episode 13. 
As a reminder, we are here every every weekday morning at 8 a.m. Uh, this is Monday. I want to put you guys in a peak state, peak state, so that you can get out there and you can perform your best. And the way to do that is when you get off of Art Talk, you, you decide where you're going to go next, not necessarily physically, but where you're going to put your attention. And where you put your attention, whether it's doing the dishes, getting dressed, you know, it's very hard to... Uh, to do some of those things when you're distracted, uh, when you're worried about things and having anxiety. And sometimes you can't, you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, Kathy was gardening the other day and she couldn't, uh, she, she wasn't immersing herself enough to remove her mind out of something that she was worrying about. So if you, if you are worrying about something today or have anxiety about something today, then you have to put yourself in that flow state that is so strong, so intense, so focused, is that nothing else can exist in there. So you, you manage to push all those thoughts out and then those, those chemicals start to be released. Now, part of a flow state is that adrenaline flow that happens and the brain has the ability to, to release those endorphins, those chemicals when you're in a flow state so that you can get intense, you can get focused and, and we're the only organism that has the ability to do that. So it's important that you take advantage of that. If you're unaware of that, you need to start practicing uh, getting into a flow state and staying in there and doing what you love is a very important aspect of that because passion is uh, passion is a, a crucial aspect of that because that is if something if something that you're in, you're into that you love it's easy to maintain that you get into it whether I don't care whether it's you know collecting comic books or or building a business you know uh, there's every extreme and it exists on every level so and when you can get yourself into that state and not be distracted then passion exists and that's a very important part from passion to focus to performance. Okay, uh, moving on a little bit. Um, uh, as I mentioned, you know, flow states exist in everyone at all times. So it doesn't really matter what you get into. Uh, and part of the hurdle that we face is that when we decide that we want to do something, we listen to other people's opinions about whether we can. You know, as a creative person, um, and we are supremely creative, there isn't anything that we can't create. Uh, it comes down to our belief system as to whether you believe that you can or not. And that's what you have to overcome, is you have to realize the truth. And the truth is there isn't anything that you can't do. I don't care if you're 65 and you want to you go to Mars. Uh, those things can and will be done if you get, manage to put yourself in a peak state, into that flow state, maintain that, that focus and that drive. And uh, you'll see... Uh, super people that are doing things like that, or everybody from Elon Musk to Zuckerberg to, uh, um, you know, all, all the people that have managed to maintain a flow state. Uh, James says, gotta, gotta go do work. Thanks. Okay, James, have a good day, man. Do your thing. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Um, sports and exercise, uh, it's about being present and maintaining that presence. Okay. That's the focus. We want to keep these short and sweet. We want to keep the, you know, get you guys hyped and ready to go. Okay. So I want you to practice that today. Get yourself into that flow state, maintain it and watch what happens because good stuff only happens. So I want to say thanks to you. I want to make sure that you guys do what you love. It's our job to, for us to do what we love and share that. I want you guys to go do the exact same thing. Go out today, do what you love in every capacity that you can and share that with other people. Show other people how you can do that, how they can do that. Okay. As a reminder, we are our talks every morning, uh, every weekday morning, eight o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to watch today's vlog. We focused on the the, the fires and floods in Malibu today uh, over over the weekend. Uh, come on and hang out with us at our blog at fireballtim.com. Lots of cool car stuff, the blog, and uh, you know all that kind of nonsense. You guys are going to love uh, some of the stuff that's coming up with the vet. And be sure to pick up one of our coloring books if you can on Amazon. Fireball coloring books from Corvettes to Mustangs and all kinds of cool stuff that are coming. Porsche book coming. All right, guys. So have a great day. Love you all. Stay focused. Get in flow. Stay in there. You'll be amazed to see what happens. Okay. Talk to you soon.